Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe with PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to show you a fun, what I call a step card. I, I don't know really the official name, but it, um, it opens up like this. It's a really neat fun fold card and I am here today to show you how to use this, how to create it. And we're going to use the Forever Greenery Suite, which is on page 110 of our annual, of the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And here's the stamp, here's the suite of stamps right here. They're beautiful. They are distinctive, which means they're, they're very realistic. We're also using the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper, which you could see down here at the bottom. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? And this is just such a beautiful set. It's one of my favorite sets in our uh, Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And so I want to show you how to make this really fun fold card and use this pretty paper and the dies that go with it. Um, so here is the stamp set a little closer up. And we're going to use two sentiments from the stamp set today. We're going to use to a friend that makes me smile and hello. And we're going to use one of the stamps of the leaves. And then we're also going to use several dies from this beautiful Forever Flourishing die set. These leaves are beautiful. And I've told others before that there are times when I'll just take different colors of green and run them through a cardstock with these beautiful leaf dies because they are so pretty. And then I have some in my on hand to use on any card. We're also going to use a heart. This heart right here, this uh, scalloped uh, circle, scalloped edged heart from the Mini Hearts dies. And this die set is in the January to June mini catalog by Stampin' Up! 2021. So let's get started on our pretty card. Let's take another look at it and how it works. So it has this um, square in here that opens up like that. Okay, and I'm going to have all the dimensions down below for you. But I wanted to show you, this. these are my guides and what I use. I just keep them handy to show me how to make this card. Your first level, the outside piece of the card, is 11 inches by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And this is kind of a standard card that we might send to someone that opens a portrait, uh, you know, uh, alignment that opens up and it can stand up like that. So that is the base is 11 by four and a half and then the inner piece that does all the work and that should be a different color um, on your card. Well at least that's how I've always made it with a different color on the inside. And this piece is 10 and a quarter long by three and three quarter wide and scored at four and a quarter, five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. So those are your two main pieces. And then you have a little smaller piece that um, attaches to that little step. And this piece is three and three quarters by three. So let's get started. I'm going to do the scoring with you so that you can see. I'm gonna use my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer and pull out the arm here and for the paper trimmer in order to do the scoring you want to put the uh, cutting blade way up to the top and then we're just going to use the score blade which is the light gray so I'm going to start with my outer layer card which is scored at got my directions here five and a half okay let's just get this scored at five and a half here five and a half okay that's scored then our inner layer we'll get up here and here's here are the scoring I just keep this handy <laughs> and so we're gonna start with four and a quarter right there 
and then we go to five and a quarter right here and then we go to six and a quarter which is right here okay and our scoring is done now let's uh, fold let's fold and burnish our score lines and so for this one this should be right on the half mark about five and a quarter should be right on the half right if the card the inner part was folded in half and then we've got one on each side one fold on each side and we'll get then we'll get this one too and just make sure those are burnished really good because we want our card to lay down flat when we create it. So I'm going to burnish this one side a little bit more. Okay, so now we have our, let's burnish this one. This is our main card base. And we're just going to fold on those, on that score line and burnish that one too. Okay, so now I think what we'll do is um, well, I'm going to go ahead and do it the way I feel most comfortable, and that is insert this and then decorate it. And so what we want to happen is, for the, let me pull it up so you can see it really clearly. You want to fold the card in half with the fold at the top, and then pull these two folds back like that. So in a way, it's like you could either call it a valley in the center, or if you turn it up like this, it's a mountain in the center. And this is the way we adhere it to the card base. And so basically, that the center fold of both of them should, be, should align together. And what I like to do is I am going to use my multi-purpose glue and I'm just going to fold this part of this edge up and I'm going to adhere that. Making sure my folds are al aligned and just lay that down like that. Let's go over that lightly with my bone folder. And now we can do the same thing on the other side. And then when we fold it, what's gonna happen is it's going to go together like that. Okay, so we lift it up at this, this second fold, and we put our glue on that side, on the back. And then we're just gonna lay it down and adhere. And we'll just let that set up for a few minutes and then it should work fine. When you fold your card in half, it just seals right down there. And it's not doing it exactly the way I wanted it to, but it, it will. So there's our card. Let's see. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Neat? Pretty neat. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is let's decorate the front. And to decorate the front, I've already um, gone ahead and cut all the pieces, so all we have to do today is assemble so that you can see how the card works. So um, basically, you have the, you have the function, functional part of the card, and now we just need to decorate it. So we're going to put a piece of the outer piece is pretty peacock. The darker color and the in, inner color, the second color, is Pear Pizzazz by Stampin' Up. And this is our Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. The pretty, the Pear Pizzazz piece here on the front of the card is cut to uh, four by five and a quarter inches. And again, all these measurements will be down below for you. And this designer series paper size is five by three and three quarters. So we're just gonna lay that down like that. And it's really starting to take shape, isn't it? 
So now I think we'll do a little bit of stamping. We're going to use this pretty scalloped heart from the Mini Hearts die set, and we're going to do a little stamping. So we're going to put our sentiment right in the center there, and I'm going to use Pretty Peacock ink, and let's just stamp our sentiment. I'm going to stamp, stamp it in the lower portion of the center of the heart, like that. And then what we're going to do, the, so the stamp set has some little dots, and I really love little dots. Um, so I'm going to put a little piece of graph paper down so that I can stamp off a bit. Here's my Pear Pizzazz ink, and stamping off just means that you ink your stamp once, and you stamp it off to get a little bit of a lighter color on your actual paper. So stamp off and stamp. And I think these little dots just give it a little, there's a lot of white area in there, and I think they just give it a little bit of, a little activity. Let me put just a few down there, just so it doesn't look so blank. And then what we're going to do is adhere this heart with some Stampin' Dimensionals to the front of our card. So let's put three Stampin' Dimensionals on the back, like this. It just takes three. But this lifts it up just a little bit to give it a little more dimension. I think that's why they're called Dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to put this at an angle right here on our card. And then we're going to tie a little bow and adhere the bow. This bow is um, from the Ornate Garden uh, Ribbon Combo Pack, and the color of it is Old Olive, which is one of our beautiful greens. And this Forever Greenery uh, paper goes with quite a few of our beautiful greens. So I'm just going to tie a little bow there, and then we're going to adhere it to our heart with some glue dots. And when you're using the glue dots, you just pull the paper back and adhere the ribbon or other cardstock, whatever you're going to stick. Press it on the dot and the dot will just lift right off with it. And then I'm just gonna put this little bow right under the place where the two sides of the heart come together. And I'm gonna use my ribbon scissors to clip their little ends just like that. So we have our front done and I'm going to add a few little um, pretty gold um, metallic dots in a little while. But let's move on into the inside of our card and now we're going to adhere a three and a half by four inch another piece, a different sheet of the Forever Greenery uh, Designer Series paper because we need to decorate the inside and so if you want to do this yourself and use different paper and everything you're going to have the measurements to do it right um, right below. So again this, this piece is three and a half by four inches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and adhere our other little piece that actually makes the uh, pop-up part of it work. And this piece was three and three quarters by three inches. And I'm just going to put the glue right on the bottom there because we're only going to adhere it right in, right in here. And one trick to this is do not adhere it all the way down to this fold or it'll be hard to fold. So you come back about a sixteenth of an inch there. Or even an eighth of an inch would work. And you're just going to, going to adhere the pop-up part right there. Just like that. And now we're going to do a tiny bit more stamping. I'm going to get out the Pretty Peacock ink again. And I'm going to use this really pretty um, 
stamp. This is, you can see really clearly the distinctive part of this stamp, how it has that different shading, the light and the dark. I love the distinctive stamps. And we're just going to stamp this right over here on the right hand side of our of the inside of our card. This is the area where you're going to write, you know, love you or whatever you would like to write in there. And so now I just think that is a pretty, it's a beautiful stamp. And now we have a little strip of the same designer series paper. And it doesn't look long enough. Okay, this one is long enough. This one's good. This is uh, one half by three and three quarters, I think. I might not have trimmed the other one quite the right length, but we'll go with this. One half by three and three quarters. Let me pull this up so you can see it. And we're just going to put this down here at the base. Just to bring the top and the bottom together to kind of coordinate them together. I'm going to put my glue, my multi-purpose glue, and I'm going to bring it right over the stem so it's going to look just like the stem is coming up out of that designer series paper. Now I'm going to need another little piece and I'm, I think I, I just didn't cut right with that one, so let me, let's cut another little piece there. See if I don't have some. Here I do. I keep my scraps in these plastic envelopes. So let's see here. I'll get out my trusty little paper trimmer, this little tiny one. And I'm going to go at three and three quarters inches by one half inch. And gosh, where is one half? Hmm, I think that must be one half right about there. It sure is. That's exactly one half. It looks just like the other pieces. And we'll just set that over to the side. So now I have my other piece that I need. And this piece is going to go down here after we put all of our pretty leaves up here. And that's what we're going to do next. So I've um, I've previously already die cut lots of leaves for us and we're just going to adhere the leaves right on this this a piece of uh, plain cardstock the pear pizzazz and we're going to just kind of intertwine them a little bit as we lay them down and adhere them I want them to stick up a little bit on the top and we're just going to adhere them with little dots of multi-purpose glue and then we're going to put this strip over them like that. So let's just start adhering and again just really all you need is just little dots and we're not going to go up on the top because we want that to kind of hang over don't we? So just a few little dots and maybe a tiny bit there at the stem. Okay. So now we're going to adhere this. Let's just go like this. Just press that down. Now the next one we're going to do is the gold one. And that's going to go, I'm going to have that go off to the side a little bit like that. So let's just put some more little tiny dots. Just a few and a little bit on the base. And we're going to bring that in on that side like that. And you have to hold it down a little bit because this one is going over the previous layer. So we want to make sure that's adhered. And then I'm going to pull in my pear pizzazz, another pear pizzazz layer. I think it looks pretty to have these different colors, different shades of green, and the gold is just, the gold is just for fun and sparkle. Okay, so here we go with our other piece of our other leaf, die cut leaves and we're going to hold that down for a few minutes like that. Just make sure that adheres. Then I have this fun die cut piece. This is one of the fun dies I really like in this set. And I think I'm just going to adhere that over to the side. I just think it's so fun. 
little dots of glue again on the bottom and I'm just going to put it right in there just like that. Now we're going to set these to the side for just a minute because now we want to stamp the second heart that is going to go underneath here like this at an angle. And we're going to stamp it with the sentiment hello. And I think this is just a nice sentiment. This card is not meant to be um, for any particular occasion. So it's going to be for whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to put the hello over on the left. There we go. Because that's um, the area that's not covered by the leaves. In other words, the hello is going to stick up there. So let's just do it kind of like that. And we're going to put our glue on the bottom of the... Whoops, wrong side. Boo-boo. That is not good. Oh, boy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can just scrape that off quickly with one of these. There we go. Okay, that is scraped off. And I might do something else here in a minute. So don't do what I did. Be sure you put the glue on the front of the heart. And we're just going to tip it to the side a little bit like this. And we're going to adhere it to the back of our green piece because this is what we want to pop up. I'm going to see if I can get that adhered there. The problem is the back is sticky too because I made that little mistake. So let's see here what I can do. I think what I'm going to do, I have a little piece of... Um, left a piece of backing for dimensionals. I only had these few little mini dimensionals on here. And I think what I'm going to do is put this behind here just while it dries so it doesn't adhere to that other, the background there. Well, we all make mistakes, don't we? Okay, now we're going to come in and put this little one half inch strip right across the base of the leaves so that you don't see them. And we're just going to do that with more of our multi-purpose glue. And it just gives a little finish. I think it just gives a nice little finish there. And again, remember that you don't want to bring it down too far into the fold. So raise it up. Move it upward a little bit, about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And it'll just cover the edges, the bottom ends of those leaves. So there's our inside of our card. Now let's take this piece out. And we'll look down be beneath there and see how that see how that works. It's a little square. And when they open the card, the leaves because we didn't adhere them at the top, they're going to be poking up a little bit. Can you see that? And the heart pokes up and so on the front it says to a friend that makes me smile and you open it up and it pops up and says hello. Isn't that just cute? Now there's one thing we forgot to do to the front and that is I like to put a little bling and so I have these little metallic, um, gold metallic beads and we're just going to, going to adhere a few of them here to the front on our heart to just give a little bit of bling. They come with um, a little bit of um, adhesive on the back and so you don't need to use your glue or anything they're self-adhesive and we can just sprinkle these around like that and there's your card your little step card um, because when you open I'm just gonna fluff this little bow a little bit and it says to a friend that makes me smile and you open it up and there is your hello and it's gonna stick Okay, there we go, that came apart. I'm gonna put this right back in there until that dries. Um, and as soon as it dries in a couple hours, I won't have anything to worry about. But isn't that just cute? I think this is a really nice card, and if you like it, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me on my blog at Peggy at prettypapercards.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Bye-bye.